It was a decent quarter for uh, Sonata Software. Uh, the company's revenues, uh, they saw a double-digit decline while the profits also went down, but that was quarter on quarter. However, the IT services revenue saw a good growth of 9%. Samir Dheer, who's the MD and CEO at Sonata Software, joins us now to talk about that. Uh, Samir, thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, this 8.8% revenue growth is including quant. Uh, so can you tell us what was the organic growth that you saw and what was the contribution of uh, quant systems in Q4 itself? <coughs> Sure. Um, thank you. Uh, I think we had a pretty solid quarter uh, overall. I think 9% sequential growth is something that we're very excited about. Our market message around modernization engineering continues to resonate with our clients and uh, gives us a, a high amount of confidence that we'll see the momentum that we saw in this quarter going into full year next year as well. Uh, to coming to your question, our overall uh, uh, quarter and quarter growth was about uh, uh, a 9% 9 nearly on a rupee basis, but within that, the organic revenue was about 4.5% uh, or so, and the uh, remaining uplift came because of the uh, quant acquisition. Mm. So you're seeing the organic revenue was 4.5%. Uh, can you tell us uh, what is the expectation in terms of organic growth in FY24 uh, with quant, without quant? If you can just give us the numbers of what you know, you're guiding for. Yeah, so we don't provide ex guidance uh, for the revenue, but I think the momentum that we have seen uh, in the last quarter, we expect that momentum to continue uh, overall. We are not seeing any significant slowdown overall from a, a demand environment perspective. Uh, I think our pipeline uh, um, uh, continues to be robust, our order booking continues to be robust. So we believe the momentum that we have seen in the last two, three quarters and the last deals that we've announced, we think that momentum will continue in the time to come as well. Of course, there is some softness in the high-tech sector, uh, a little bit in few accounts. But beyond that, whether it's retail, manufacturing, banking, financial services, or healthcare, mm. we're really seeing uh, ongoing continued momentum in those sectors for ourselves. Uh, Samir, hi, morning. Uh, you do provide a guidance uh, overall. Uh, you say that you plan to reach $1.5 billion in revenues in the next three to four years. And I think that is a, a new guidance that you put out in the presentation. It's actually... Uh, it's, it's a very upbeat kind of uh, presentation. You're saying you're the f you, you will be the fastest growing uh, IT company. Uh, but if I look at this uh, guidance, right, uh, you say three to four years, <clears throat> this, this kind of implies uh, around a 13% uh, uh, CAGR growth, right, annually, from where you are to where you want to reach. Uh, could you yes, uh, put so that into context for us? Yeah. Sure, yeah, I'm happy to. Uh, so we had put out a goal for ourselves to get to half a billion by FY26, and that we said uh, about six months back. So if you really compute from there, that will entail a high teens or a low 20s growth uh, uh, Y on Y. Um, of course, some years will be higher and some years will be lower, but that's really what we're what we're talking about, uh, get to about half a billion mark in about uh, three to four years' time. Um, now, going into next year, we believe the momentum that we saw this year, we grew this year, uh, on a reported basis, about 18.7% Y on Y. So we think we'll do better than what we did uh, last year into going into the next year as well. All right. Uh, hi, Samit. Good morning. Uh, let's focus on the margins then, the IT services uh, business, which is the one where you know growth will come from. Uh, that's been seeing margins come come down lower. You know, if I look at it as a trend, you were closer on 30%. It's come down to around 20, 23%. What's the margin band we should be working with for this particular vertical? That's the international IT services. And also from this 240 million odd, what do we end this year at? I mean, if you could give us a ballpark number just for this division. Sure. So I think overall our margin profile, as you stated earlier, uh, as we get to half a billion goal in about three years time from now, we want to be a low 20s EBITDA company. And that's really what we want to work with. Um, we feel, feel that uh, incremental uh, dollars that we will generate, we want to plow that back in the business from an investment perspective. I talked to you about last time as well, we want to invest about one and a half to 2% of our margin dollars into uh, scaling the company from a sales investment and uh, go-to-market initiatives. And that's something that we have done very strategically to do that go forward as well. So in the long term, if you think, take a little longer to horizon of three to four years, about a half a billion dollar business at uh, low 20s EBITDA, uh, and coming to this year, like I said earlier, we grew last year 18.7% uh, sequentially uh, year on year. And we expect uh, that and slightly better than that performance in the coming year. Okay. You also saw your largest ever contract with the total TCV at about $160 million. 
uh, any more such uh, large contracts that you are hoping to sign and would they be in this ballpark range itself in the next say 12 to 18 months? Yeah, no, we're very excited about the deal that we signed uh, about a couple of months back. Um, this was the largest ever contract in our history, 160 million over 10 years. And uh, we believe that just sets up the stage for us to uh, go forward as well. Uh, these these deals uh, take about uh, nine months to 12 months cycle to, to work on. We have a few deals in the pipeline, but uh, uh, you know the magnitude of those deals are slightly different to the ones that we already announced. Are they much smaller in size or are they larger? I mean, if you can just give us some clarity on what the deals in the pipeline could look like. So the overall large deal pipeline today at a company level is about 40% uh, of our overall pipeline, which is about 10-15% uh, higher than what we were same time last year. So the large deal momentum continues to be very robust for Sonata at this point in time. If you recall back in Q2 of last fiscal year, we announced uh, uh, three deals, then we announced four deals uh, last quarter, and then the most recent quarter we announced three large deals again. So we believe we have put a very predictable model of announcing two, three to four large deals every quarter as we move forward. Now, of course, this will be a mixed bag. Some deals will be of much larger scale and some will be uh, mid-sized deals, but we, we think we have an engine in place now to continue to repeat that momentum that we've seen from a large deals perspective. All right, Samir, just to clear the air, you've given us quite a few numbers. So by FY26, your revenue will be around one and a half billion odd, uh, out of which $500 million will be coming in from the international IT services business. Are we getting that correct? That's correct, yes. And by FY26, you'll still be guiding for early 20s margins on a blended basis. On on the international business alone, yes. On the international um, business, sorry. The international business alone, yes. Uh, uh, and uh, for uh, you know for the blended business because I'm looking at it your domestic products business as well you know that's the lower margin business it ended this year closer around 5,500 crores so how do you see that business shaping up so that business we really monitor ourselves on what we call as gross contribution it's a it's a it's a return of capital employed we really measure the efficiency of the capital to employ in that business and that business we have reported uh, if you look at last year. We declared um, our domestic business uh, grew 31.6% over Y on Y uh, from a revenue perspective and from a margin perspective also sequentially. Uh, we have done uh, about 2.9% sequentially margin improvement. So we really measure that business more from a GC perspective, gross contribution perspective, because that's really a high churn business from a return on capital employed perspective. And we, we think that momentum will continue going to next year as well. Okay, all the best with that. Thanks for joining us and speaking to CNBC TV 18. That's Sonata Software. Been one of the strongest stocks in the last uh, one year. The stock has almost doubled and the company is confident that the momentum will continue.